How's it going, everybody? Doing a gum chewing movie review here today. Um, actually, filmed this video yesterday, but my laptop battery was low, and you know, I was like, "Oh shit!" It's telling me. I'm like, "This thing's gonna shut itself down." So I quickly try to finish, and then I'm like, "Okay, it's like saved." And I go to look at the video, and it's corrupted. I'm like, "You fucking piece of shit!" Like. <laughs> today, but it's a snake eyes, G.I. Joe Origins snake eyes, um, I enjoyed this, uh, definitely a pretty good movie. So no regret with picking it up. Um, obviously it's an origin story for Snake Eyes. Um, Blood by Henry Golding here. Um, it starts with him. It's like a flashback scene of his, of his I mean, I, uh, these are spoilers. But I, there'll be some spoilers in this video. This literally happens at the beginning of the movie. It's a flashback to his dad being killed. He sees it. The guy rolls dice that are end up being snake eyes. <laughs> Actually, find out about those dice later on in terms of like they're rigged. But uh, he sees him get killed. His house burns down, and then flashes back to present day. He's like fighting in a kind of like underground fighting thing or whatever. That's real brief, because this guy approaches him and is like, oh, I can find your dad. I'm sorry, I can find the guy who killed your dad. So he starts working for the Akusa in Los Angeles. And, uh, he's hanging out with his buddy, Tommy, who, uh, I mean, it literally says it on the back of the fucking thing who he is. You could probably figure out who he is. <laughs> Here's a spoiler. I don't even know if it is one, but if you don't want to hear it, just, you know, quickly. <laughs> don't watch this, but uh, he's, he ends up being Storm Shadow. <clears throat> but he isn't at that point. And then you get turned on. Like, the, the guys in the office won't beat the shit out of you. You both escape because you won't kill Tommy. This other guy wants Tommy killed. They don't like each other. And then you flee to Tokyo and... Uh, because Tommy's clan is there. The I can't. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it. They said it in the movie, and I couldn't remember how it was said. The uh, Arasgich, Ar 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 Arakaj, Arasgich clan. That's his clan. He's like the heir, I guess, to take it over. Or be the leader, I should say, not really take it over. But, um. So it's the two of them. They're like the main guys. It's like. Snake guys, I can't, you know what, it's funny, I don't even know if they say it, <laughs> but I don't even know what his actual name is, like, I can't remember his name, because he's not just called Snake Eyes immediately, they start calling him Snake at a point, <laughs> I'm like, I can't remember, and it doesn't say it on here, um, but, yeah, it says even on the back, he saves the life, like, he saves his life, so he owes him a debt. Tommy owes Snake Eyes a debt. And he's the heir of, of this clan. And now he's like, oh, I think Snake Eyes should be in. And of course, they're apprehensive because he's an outsider. Even though there's another outsider in it, Akiko, who I don't think was ever in any kind of G.I. Joe related stuff before this. And uh, Tommy's like, I vouch from whatever. He's got to do these challenges. So a lot of the movie is based around like Snake Eyes doing these challenges. There is a twist early on, so he has a little bit of a spoiler as well here. If you don't want to hear this, just don't listen for like a minute. Um, the guy who got you into the Yakuza said he can find your dad is actually another part of Tommy's clan, and they're the ones who hate each other, and this guy wants back in the clan because he got kicked out. So he wants Snake Eyes to get information, so Snake Eyes is kind of fucking over the clan a little bit, and he's torn and whatever. And that comes to play later in terms of 
terms of how their relationship pans out, him and Tommy's. But you know, it's a lot of that. So they're in Tokyo the rest of the movie. And then they also have contact with now the guy in the Yakuza has ties with you would guess Cobra. Cobra likes to put their little symbol on their fucking guns and shit, like the box their guns are in. That's where the Baroness comes into play and Scarlet comes into play because the, uh, their clan, Arashkaj, or Ar- Ar- Arakaji uh, clan, you know, he keeps in touch with her. She's part of G.I. Joe. And Snake Eyes didn't know that this Yakuza group's working with the Cobra and then he starts to get pissed. That's when he starts to get torn. But anyway, they pop up a little later. They're not actually both of them not in it much at all. They have smaller parts earlier on. And then they both pop up for like the last maybe half hour, 40 minutes. They're in the whole thing. Pretty much the whole thing. But the action's really good in this movie. Like, Good action scenes. Some of it is over the top ridiculous as is expected in action type movies. Like at one point he does a flip over a bike to avoid shit while the bike's still going and lands back on it. say there are massive snakes they have in this thing at their temple or you know their base uh, where when he's doing the challenges the third challenge involves those and I'm like wait are these real because like, oh, they're anacondas I think he explains them but they're fucking huge they come to play they come into play again at the end of the movie and uh great action there is a, a cobra wants like this weapon or this thing that the clan is protecting of course it's like a fantastical fucking object and part of me is like oh really and then i'm like wait in the cartoon and everything else the comics they always, cobra always has crazy shit like the weather dominator or that thing that controls the animals and all this other bullshit so i'm like it's not really far-fetched so that's why baroness is involved cobra wants this thing and this is their way to get it and they the yakuza want to start like a war with this clan, Tommy's clan, so, and there's a woman who's like the leader of it at this point, uh, there's the hard master and the blind master are both there, the guy who plays the blind master I recognize, but I can't remember what he's in, uh, but anyway, great action, the acting's solid, the guy here, Henry Golding, who plays Snake Eyes, is good, the guy who plays Tommy, uh, who becomes the person that I mentioned earlier, you know who it is, it's not really a spoiler, but is really good. Like, I think he's the best in the movie, honestly. Everybody's good. Scarlet and Baroness are both really good, but they don't have as much scene time as the two of them, as Snake Eyes and Tommy. Everybody else is good, too. You know, Hard Master, Blind Master, the, uh, the woman who leads the group, I can't remember, who leads the clan at that point. And the other bad guy, I can't remember his name either, even though I watched this show on something. <laughs> either way, the action's good. The acting saw the story is pretty good. They, they changed his origins from the comics, although his origins, or Snake Eyes' origins, I think, have been a few different ways at least got where he is. Now, here's a spoiler. It's not really a spoiler. He obviously talks if you saw the trailers. Now, in the comics, I believe he does talk and then he loses his voice. I forget how. But uh, he has his voice at the end of this movie, so I understand why they're not going to have him be a silent protagonist because they want a guy, action guy in the movie. I don't know if they're making another one of these. I kind of hope they do, but I know it didn't make a ton of money and cost probably like a hundred million to make. But it's cool. There's it's a lot of fucking sword action. There's like a lot of fucking battles with swords, and that all looks good. Uh, and Akiko is a little apprehensive towards snake eyes because she's like what's his, his angle here so she's kind of on to him she does a lot of cool stuff as well scarlet and baroness are doing cool shit and scarlet and, scarlet and baroness like they did spot on casting with the two of them uh, in terms of like their comic and cartoon counterparts um, they're both good uh, and she has her crossbow scarlet and she, it's good action there, like I said, 
The story is solid overall. Like, I don't know how this movie reviewed so badly. I mean, it's like a 35 or 30-something percent. Well, not complete shit. I don't... The audience was a little more in tune with what I was going with. About 70-something percent, I think. Um, no, it's, it's, it's a fucking solid movie. Like, honestly, like... I almost like... The, the only thing I would say is... If you haven't seen it yet... Don't expect a lot of, like, the Joe Cobra battling. It's not there actually at all <laughs> you just have scarlet from cobra uh, scarlet from jay joe and baroness from cobra you know involves their clan the clan the ashkarash clan or Arashi, Arashi, um clan and and this yakuza group but everybody i don't they are not there you know uh but everything's good I won't spoil what happens to Tommy in terms of, like, you know, him and the clan and stuff, but shit gets found out, shit goes wrong, you know, a couple of twists along the way and shit, but, um, the story's pretty solid, honestly. You'll get the, you'll get who Tommy becomes in this, a post, not a post-credits, but, like, early on in the cre end credits, there's a scene involving the Baroness and him, and then he tells you who he Call me this. You'll know who it is. I don't need to spoil You know who it is. <laughs> you know who Snake Eyes' counterpart is. <laughs> if you've seen the show or the comics or anything, G.I. Joe related, you know who Snake Eyes' adversary and buddy is, depending on the situation. Um, but it's well done. I thought it was well done. <clears throat> like I said, good action, good set pieces as well. There's not a lot of gunplay in this, so the Baroness uses one. Scarlet does, I think, briefly, and she also has her crossbow. But it's mostly just people using swords. Um, but everybody is, you know, as badass, as badass things being done by people <laughs> in these movies. And like I said, there's all well, agreements have to be made. You know, people turn on each other, the usual kind of thing in this movie. Um, I said the acting's solid. I thought the story was pretty decent, honestly. Um... And the action's good, you know, some of it's over the top, but, you know, that's part of the course for these kind of movies. People are going to do things that wouldn't be normally done in real life. <laughs> like I said, I'd like to see another one. Uh, just because, you know, you only get a few characters in here. I'd love to see more characters be brought in. G.I. Joe, Cobra characters be brought in. Uh, to the fold. But if they did a second one, it can involve other guys and what happens with the Snake and the Oshkaraj clan, the Arashi clan and shit. Um, although that would affect the original origin stories about how, what happens to the one guy and shit like that, so they'd have to change that as well. Um, but that involves like Firefly and Zardan. I would have loved to have seen like a Firefly in this. I think he's always one of my favorites. Um... It was good. Like, I, I don't have, I like G.I. Joe quite a bit, but I'm not, like, in tune with all the stories, so if something's changed up, it's not going to bother me much, unless it's really ridiculous, and this really wasn't. Um, like I said, the guy who plays Tommy, who be, I says it right, who he, I feel like I should say it, who he is on the back box, you know, here's spoilers again, this video's on, I'm almost done with this, but here's spoilers again. Obviously, Tommy Storm Shadow, it says it right here on the thing. You can guess it's him. There's no, like, you know, even with his outfit, you know who it is. Um, he's really good. Like, I thought he was really good in this, like, good anger when it was needed and shit. Like, I, I thought he was really good. I said everybody was good, but he, I think it was the best. Um, but like I said, everybody was good, though. Samara Weaving as Scarlet, and was Ursula Corbero as Baroness, Henry Golding as obviously Snake Eyes, and uh, I forget the guy who plays the, did I say Israel the Blind Master? I, no, I can't remember his name, but he's been in a bunch of shit, and everybody else who plays the other parts is really, is, is solid as well. Um, but it really is, it's, it's not a slow movie, but so much of it takes place in like, you know, the temple or whatever, their base. And there's obviously outside stuff as well, but a lot of it takes place there. 
and get some good motorcycle action and shit. Um, it's good though, you know. I thought it was a pretty good movie, honestly. I would give it like a 7.5. I'd say a 7.5 out of 10. I'd even go higher. Let's do the percentage like that. I'd say a 7.9 out of 10. Not quite me. <laughs> As for the extras, I watched some of the deleted scenes, and I did watch the uh, Deadly Ensemble, which is just talking with the cast. I would give the... I'd probably give, like, a seven to the extras. There are some commentaries that I know of, and you get some other stuff in here as well. I did not watch the short film. Discover the secrets of his legendary sword. Uh, Is good enough special features, so I would go, go with seven. Not as good as like the Detective Pikachu because it has a detective mode where it's like a pop, a commentary slash pop up thing, you know. But this has some pretty good stuff in it as well, though, for sure. I didn't watch all of it, obviously. But. Uh, the back actually does a good job of describing the movie. Is it the best G.I. Joe movie yet? Once again, that's not a high bar to fucking launch over, but I think it's significantly, I like it, but they didn't review as good as those other two. Was it Retaliation, Rise of Cobra? I watched Rise of Cobra. It was not that good at all. I didn't really see Retaliation, but I think I seen parts. But this one is definitely better than Rise of Cobra. It just flows better. It's just, I don't know, it's just a better I feel like G.I. Joe type stuff would almost benefit of doing more of this kind of movie. Not like Origins, but like small groups of Joes and Cobra and shit. Almost like an episode of the cartoon or like one of the comics, you know, instead of it being like here's a bunch of characters from each side. <laughs> um, um, it's a hot movie though, definitely check it out. Even if you're not a fan of G.I. Joe, it's a solid action movie. You could be like, oh, these are cool characters, you know. And you find out who, like, his dad was and who he worked for and shit, so. I don't know, I thought the story was pretty decent, honestly. Um, you know, well, the dialogue was pretty good. It wasn't anything stupid. It kind of moves very quickly in the beginning. Like, it jumps from here's a quick flashback to here's him and randomly fighting somewhere. So it's like real quickly, oh, well, he's got to fight for money or something. So that's quickly like, oh, now you're working for the Yakuza. Oh, boom, now you're over in Tokyo, you know. Like, it moves very fast at first. And then when he gets there, it starts to slow down. So maybe they could have, I mean, the movie is almost, maybe the movie's about like an hour and 50 minutes before credits. Maybe a little more. Uh, but they could have almost padded out, maybe cut out some of the later stuff and padded out that beginning. Because it really bounces, boom, 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 boom. And then once you're in, once they're in Tokyo, it moves a bit slower. Once they're in Japan, I don't know if they are in, I think they are in Tokyo. They says Tokyo when they land, but I don't know if like the temple or whatever is in Tokyo, but I think it is. But like I said, it, it, it's really boom, boom, boom. And then it slows down into its pace. So maybe a little rushed early, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because I, I mean, you have a cool battle scene early on, fight scene with him and Tommy against these other dudes at the Yakuza. But other than that, but yeah, just a uh, G.I. Joe Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins, the Snake Eyes, or Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins, however you want to say it, our review, definitely check it out, if you're into G.I. Joe, or...